To return to some breaking news, an Al Jazeera team has been hit in an Israeli strike in southern Lebanon. Now, journalists Carmen Bakinda and Eli Brakir were injured and have been taken to hospital. They were travelling in a car when they were hit. Now, journalists from Reuters and AFP were also hit in Alma al Shab near the Israeli border. One of the journalists was killed. Well, Ali Hashem joins us live from Alma al Shab in Lebanon. And Ali, what more can you tell us about uh, what has been unfolding there over the last hour? Well, Tom, um, there was a convoy of journalists. We were, we were all together. So first of all, we went to Marwahin and uh, we were covering from there. Then when we started hearing shelling, uh, we separated. Uh, the team that um, included uh, uh, Carmen Jukhadar, our correspondent in uh, Arabic, and Jazeera Arabic, uh, our uh, cameraman, Ali Brahia, and uh, colleagues from uh, French, uh, French uh, agency, AFP, and from Reuters, they all they went separately to an open area, actually, but it was a bit uh, high, so it was overlooking the whole scene. While myself and my colleague uh, Rai, the cameraman, we went to, to the village, inside the village, and we were live on, on TV all the time. Then there was this direct shell that hit the team, and uh, one of the colleagues uh, was killed. Our colleagues, uh, uh, Carmen and Eli, were injured. Others also, other colleagues from other agencies were injured. And it was clear that, you know, they, they identified themselves clearly. And whoever is, is, is observing or monitoring the border, and of course the, military, the Israeli army is monitoring the, the border day and night, and before before launching this shell on a on a new team on new teams uh, crews that were clearly wearing their flak jackets their helmets with press written on the, on them mm. and, uh, it, it was it was horrible it, i mean they were they identified themselves they were clear mm. they were clearly journalists but we they were hit by israeli shell we're, we're, we're watching, as you're speaking, we're, we're seeing footage from the scene. It, it isn't live. It has been pre-recorded um, in the last uh, half hour or so. But can you tell us what is happening there now? Are you still there? No, we are now on our way to the hospital in uh, the city of Tyre to, of course, uh, be with our uh, colleagues there. Mm. But, uh, I mean, the situation was tense the whole day and... We've been covering this, uh, Al Jazeera. Yes. And uh, as journalists, we were trying to be together all the time just to, you know, at least to, to be safe together. Yes. And every time we are in, some, in somewhere, I mean, we check on each other. So actually, even, even the, 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 the colleague who was killed in this attack, we had a conversation before just separating, and he said he's going to assess the risks. And that's why he went... To that place, and the others followed him. Mm. Was, was, and it was, he wasn't in a, he wasn't, I mean, on the borders directly. He was he was far from the border. He was on a on a small hill overlooking the whole place. They were clear with their cars, with their cameras, and there were of course foreign and and local uh, crews. Uh, they work for international agencies. But some yeah. of them are Lebanese, and some of them are are foreigners. Yeah. So this is this is the situation, and yeah, this is what we are, what I can say. Yeah, now. like you say, they they were um, clearly marked as as being from the media, weren't they? Uh, was there any warning at all leading up to this? Well, I, I don't claim to, to to know if there was a warning, a warning because I wasn't there. As I told you, I separated from them. Uh, but it was clear that because there is a, a, a shot by, by Reuters showing the moment of the, the shell attack, the moment the shell was launched, and it was clear there was nothing before. No one was, there was no uh, um, kind of warning shell, for example, that hit around them, close to them, in a way that they will be warned, they will be alarmed, and then they will pack and leave. There was nothing like that. At least this is what we saw in the video. Now, we're going to see our colleagues. We're going to talk to them. Hopefully, they will be in a better situation. 
And of course, we will explain more details on, on what happened. But this crew was together all day and the Israelis were seeing this crew all day mm. because we were on the, on the road all the time, back and forth. So it wasn't that this team just came, you know? I mean, we were identified clearly. So as I told you, we separated them and this team was hit directly. And they were all identified. They all had their flag jackets on them. And of course, our team also, I mean, there were, there were SNGs, there were equipment. I mean, whoever, whoever knows ABCs of, of uh, you know, public affairs will know that these are journalists because they were clearly journalists. There was nothing that could really uh, uh, be vague about their identity. Mm. So it was, a, it was an intentional uh, targeting, just like what happened with our colleague Sharina yes. Mawakli in, in Palestine a year and, uh, uh, less than a year and a half ago. Yeah. Uh, Ali, I just want to clarify one thing really quickly. Do you think that this was an airstrike or you said it was a shelling, a tank shelling? Most probably this was a tank shelling because okay. it was a shell that hit. Uh, the, when we arrived there at the place, there was a car burning. We saw, we saw the ambulances. The, the body of our colleague who was killed was uh, probably still there. The, the ambulance just just uh, uh, transferred him now to the to the hospital. Uh, may his soul rest in peace. Mm. And he, I mean, he was. I don't want to give the name right now. Uh, in, 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 no, no, we understand that, Elliot. Yeah. All, yeah. Maybe his family needs to know, first of all. I don't know if his family was, was informed. Uh, he was a professional. That knew him for years because we've covered together several wars before. This mm. is not the first war. OK, thank you so much uh, for that, Ali. Uh, that's Ali Hashim for us in Alma al Shab. If you're just joining us, there's breaking news uh, this hour. An Israeli strike has killed uh, one journalist and injured three others in southern Lebanon. Well, Al Jazeera's Lebanon bureau chief, Mazen Ibrahim, was there just after it happened. This is what happened. All the journalists were here together. It's a type of safety measure. This is to make sure that both the resistance and Israel know that we are journalists and in one location. I can clearly say that we, the journalists, were targeted on purpose. We were far from the confrontations. The confrontations are up this hill, over the horizon, where the fires are. This spot is where the journalist was. All of the journalists were wearing the safety kit. They all had the press slogan on their chest and cars. This car behind me, the one that is totally damaged, is the Al Jazeera car. The Al Jazeera crew was inside this car. My colleagues were transferred to hospitals. Reporter Carmen Jukada and cameraman Eli Brakia. One other cameraman was killed. Journalists were killed and injured while doing their work.